All right, so what you're looking at are three helium neon lasers. Um, I don't know much about them. I just got them from a gentleman on Craigslist for just a couple bucks. Um, and I have no idea as to what their condition is. I do know that these tubes look kind of, I don't know, used up. But this one looks pretty good. There's no... Uh, discoloration there. This was made in 1994. These ones don't have a date on them. They just have a serial that's lower in number to these. This one here, so these are older than this one. And I got to thinking, you know, how do I test these things? And apparently that's how you can test them, quick and dirty. I've never owned any sort of gas discharge laser, so this is new territory for me. But let's see what kind of light show we get. Now, boys and girls, if you're going to do this kind of thing, and you shouldn't, because you shouldn't try this at home, you must use proper safety equipment, like this high visibility jacket. Safety is simple. Take precautions. Wait. That's more like it. This is what you want. Just finish baking. All right. Let's put the oldest one in there first. This one has serial number of uh, 28,000. All the other ones are 58,000 or 66,000. So let's blow up this one if we have to blow it up. I've already got my glass of water to kind of reduce the field in there. Stick that in there. I wonder how long I should put it in there for. Uh, if only, uh, is it a good idea to microwave this is still running, then I could send them one of these things, but they've stopped. All right, so I put five seconds, but I think I'm going to cancel it before that. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. That's good. That one looks good. Let's do it again. Nice salmon color, which apparently means that it's working well. Let's try it the other way. Oh yeah. So this one looks like it still has its gas. Let's try the next one. This one might be dead. Oh! Just kidding. Dead spot in the microwave. Awesome. Let's try the new one. Oh, this one's much brighter. Don't want to mess with this one too much, though. Mmm, <laughs> smell some ozone. Maybe I shouldn't do this too much. All right, here's a slightly better vantage point, this time with the lights off. Awesome. Well, there you go. How not to treat your laser tubes. Now I have to rig up a power supply for this thing, or these things. Should be fun. Thanks for watching. Now where's that light switch? I have to use this camera as a light source.